Alright, so we played cop. You know, we're just gonna pass the turn here. We're probably dead, but we need to hurry up because I have a game three if I don't win this. Do we know what he's playing blue for? No. I don't think so. Demir Aqueduct. <laughs> he just really loves that land. Didn't quite get there. So he has some four toughness things. Char might be pretty decent. Lava so might Chandra. Or Chandra. The um Lava Mancer might be a little underwhelming here. Yeah. I think I I don't want to play these land destruction cards. I think I'd rather just play burn spells. Chandra's a burn spell. Yeah, Chandra isn't terrible. Chain Lightning's also a one mana, three damage spell. Yeah, but most of the things were four toughness. But it also goes well, to the face. All I you've seen is Thrun, which doesn't matter, Wicker Bro, and Tarmogoyf, which you can kill early with Chain Lightning. I think it's fine. I mean, we've molded five that game. We just need yeah. to play this game quickly. And you need a Miracle Bonfire for the win. Miracle and Bonfire. This, well, maybe if I get a Jace. Or click yourself. Go click yourself. Play Factory. I don't want to. Because I may want to play one of my double blue, double red spells, I think. Or you could Wasteland you. Early cough seems good. Yeah. Early cough seems very good. Unless he has his he had ultimate go advice. He did go for the throw, didn't he? Yeah. I think we still go for it. We do still go for it. Although his ultimate's pretty underwhelming. Well, right now it is, but you have enough mountains in your deck that, like, even if you get his ultimate with a couple mountains, it'd still be great. Pulse is dealing with our planeswalkers pretty well. You're not gonna bash with factory? I can't. Why couldn't you have? I just played it. Oh, because you're a noob. Shouldered Ancestral Recall, Thrun, which he can't play. He can play Consuming Vapors, though, so I think I'm going to get rid of that. Because, right... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Consuming Vapors. I know he draws a card, but... This is a weird deck. He's probably going to play Wasteland Pass. He, I don't really like his deck. Alright, it doesn't feel rampy enough. It feels like mid-range ramp. Shriek Maw. Did he just draw that? Yeah.
can't shield red. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Jace. Jace would be awesome. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I think you are. I don't know why I didn't run out lightning greaves, but I didn't. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I remember when we said that his deck didn't ramp fast. His, I don't really like his deck. I mean... No, I don't, I don't particularly like Alright, we got our next matchup here. Um, I'm not going to mulligan this hand. Seems good enough. Man, making a lot of players last, uh, last round, so hopefully we can shape that up a little bit. Um, kind of tired, but <laughs> that's all right. I don't... Okay. Sure. I think we'll just go ahead and play the polluted delta. Probably going to fetch up Watery Grave. Um, I don't know if I'm going to incinerate this guy right away or just play the um, Signet. Not really sure what his deck's trying to do. If he is an aggro deck, then um, I might just want to get that Maniac out of the way. Fauna Shaman. Well, I think Fauna Shaman's actually a better target than the uh, that guy. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and pay a life. Hmm. That makes things more interesting. I wish I had that last turn. Well, I can play the... Bloodstained Mire, get Volcanic Island, play Mox Ruby, play Signet, and then incinerate his Fauna Shaman. That seems pretty good. correctly. Alright, and next turn probably just play that Siege Gang. Black Logos, yikes. Probably should have done that on turn one, but um, that's okay. Yeah, I gotta start running my Mishra's Factory out there earlier because you never really know when you're gonna are gonna need the bash with it, depending on what you top deck or whatever. Siege Gang's really good right here, though. Um, the fact that he didn't use his Black Lotus last turn is Pretty good. I mean, assuming he doesn't. Well, he obviously doesn't have Elish Norn because he would have played it pre combat. So we're just going to throw one goblin at this, obviously. I'm a little surprised he didn't get in there with the Oren Viper because at least he gets to take down the Siege Gang Commander. Or at, I, I jump with a goblin. Okay, so he's playing a 7-drop Avenger. That's a good one. Um, it's one I want to take out right about now. 